All right, question number nine. Question number nine. Here we go. Okay, the question is, uh, what does the expression 9x squared minus 100 is equivalent to? Okay, you guys need to recognize this, that this is a difference of two perfect squares. Okay, check out my other video if you haven't seen it before. Okay. 9x squared minus 100. You know, where's the perfect squares? Well, 9x squared is a perfect square. 9 is a perfect x. I mean, 9 is a perfect square, x squared is a perfect square, and 100 is a perfect square. And there's a difference between both of them. Okay? So what is the square root of 9? That is 3. Right, I'll come here. What's the square root of x squared? That's going to be x. Uh, what is the square root of 100? That's going to be 10 times 10. All right? All right? Gives you 100. And the sign that goes in between both of them is going to be a positive and a negative. Right? Because when you multiply these two binomials together, you will get back 9x squared minus 100. And which choice is that? That is choice number 2. Choice number 2, that's the answer. Question number 10. What is an equation of a line that passes through the point 3, negative 3 and negative 3, negative 3? Okay, always remember that to solve this problem, you need to know the equation for a line. That's why it goes mx plus b. Okay, let's focus on two things right now. Let's focus on the slope and b, which is the y-intercept. Well, let's solve one thing. One time, let's solve one variable at a time. That's the slope. Okay, well, what is slope? The slope is formula for that, that's a change in y over a change in x. Some likes to say rise over run, okay, I like to say x, I mean y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, okay. Uh, what is y1, what is y2, right, let me write these numbers out for you, so the coordinates are 3, negative 3, and negative 3, negative 3. Well, the first number is always going to be x, seven, second number y. So we just leave the first coordinate x1, y1, next one x2, y2. Okay. Over here, let's solve the math. Well, what's y1? That's negative 3. What's y2? That's negative 3. What's between them? We're subtracting both of them. Okay. So we have negative 3 minus negative 3. So that becomes negative 3 plus 3, 0. The bottom, x1, 3, minus, what's x2? Negative 3. So what do we have? 6. 3 minus negative 3 is 6. Slope happens happen to be 0. 0 divided by 6. Or divided by anything besides 0 is going to be 0. Slope is 0. So plug it back into the equation. y equals 0 to the slope times x plus b. And next we want to find b. How do we solve for b? We are going to have to plug in any of the coordinates that it's going through, either negative 3, negative 3, or 3, negative 3. Plug it in for x and y, and then you can find b. So let's just pick one. Let's just pick this guy over here. Let's plug in negative 3, negative 3. Well, they're both the same, but x is negative 3, y is negative 3, plus b. Right, 0 times negative 3, this is going to cancel out. It's going to be 0. So we're left with, with is b equals negative 3. Okay, now we have our slope, which is 0. We have our b, which is negative 3. Right? 
so the equation of the line would be y equals m, which is slope 0, times x, then what I'll be? Negative 3. In this case, 0 and x. 0 times x is going to be 0, so the answer is just y equals negative 3. And that is choice 3. Okay, going down to question 11 over here. Uh, you're, giving the, you're given the perimeter of a rectangle. The formula is P equals uh, 2L plus 2W. And they want you to express the equation in terms of W. Uh, this is a literal equation. So what do we need to do is uh, t uh, take that equation, isolate the W, and put everything else to the other side. So let's start doing that. P equals 2L plus 2W. Right. The key is I want W by itself. I want everything else to the other side. I'm going to start by subtracting 2L from both sides. This way, 2L cancels on the right side. There's no more 2Ls. And we're left with 2W. This side is P minus 2L. And to get rid of this last 2, you're just going to divide by 2. Divide by 2. And W is equal to P minus 2L divided by 2. Let's see if they have that as the answer. And that is choice 2 over here. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's move on. Question number 12. We have a triangle. It's a right triangle. How do I know? There's a right angle over here. 